So what do we got here? Here we have the C65 all tore apart. And you guys are not zoomed in, but you seem super zoomed in. That's crazy. But I got this truck in here, and you can see it's all tore apart. I got the whole front end off of it, and um, I got the exhaust manifolds off of it. I got a couple valves off of it, the alternator off of it, the drive shaft dropped out of it. Um, oh, excuse me, it's all, it's in pieces. Pieces, pieces, pieces. And the reason you haven't seen any video of this yet is because I lost all the video. I've had probably two hours of footage, two, three, three hours of footage probably, because it was a couple parts of me and Nick taking the front off, and then I had uh, video of me taking the exhaust manifolds off. I had video of taking the drive shaft out, and it's all gone. My GoPro decided it wanted to uh, only keep one video when I went to upload them to my computer, and that was the slow race video from the truck show, which I have to put a video together for that. Maybe I'll do that tonight. I don't know. I got a lot of videos I need to put together and put up. I just don't have the time for that. It's easier to record them than it is to sit down and go through them and edit them up and all that good garbage. But what we're doing to this truck is, if you remember, I talked it needed a ring gear. Well, it also needed exhaust manifolds because if you look at these, they're pretty much shot. Pretty much shot. So, and that one's just as bad on the inside as it is the outside. And I can't figure out what these little doodads are sticking out of the exhaust manifold. A couple of them were missing off each one, but. And it didn't have any gaskets in between the manifold and the block. Not a one. So, I took the whole front off because I needed to do the exhaust manifolds and was as easy as those came out I probably didn't have to I mean the bolts just turned right out it's like they've been off before which they probably have um, so it's gonna get new exhaust manifolds uh, it's gonna get new spark plugs I'm gonna put valve cover gaskets in it it's going to get a new air valve what else was I going to do? It needs some wiring redone on it. Some of the wiring is pretty bad. Um, the ring gear is going to get taken care of. It'll more than likely get a new clutch, a new throwout bearing, and a rear main. And when the transmission's out, I'm going to put gaskets on it because it leaks. And if I get to it, the... Uh, Rear end needs a bearing and a seal. So that's what this truck's in for, and this is the condition it's in. It's still not apart all the way. I gotta get the transmission out, and I will probably work on that tomorrow night after work. Uh, get Nick over here, maybe Chris. We'll see. Chris was kind enough to let me borrow his transmission jack. I was going to take it out yesterday. We ended up working late. I was going to take it out tonight, which is Friday, but I have to work tomorrow. And we worked late today, so we'll see what tomorrow brings. Me and Nick were going to go to Summit tomorrow, but I have to work. I told a guy I was going to come out and look at a C70 for scrap that might have parts that I can use. I was going to do that either Thursday or Saturday. Worked late Thursday and it rained. Have to work Saturday. I still might stop out there Saturday. And Sunday, I go in Sunday night and I start nights again. So, there won't be a lot of work going on on any of the projects because I just don't like to work on stuff before work. Just I get too involved and then I'll end up being late for work. So, And then this coming weekend... Last weekend in June is the Red Power Roundup, and I'm hoping I can get Friday off and head out to the Red Power Roundup. 
never been to the Red Power Roundup and want to check it out. So, anyways, this is what's going on right now. Um, I just wanted to shoot a video of this truck. Oh, also, the carb's got to come out. needs rebuilt. It leaks. And uh, she'll get a good tune-up. We're going to make this truck like 90%. It needs a dipstick as well. The dipstick got burnt because of the exhaust manifold. And maybe, if I have time, I'll swap the tires out. I got 22 fives for it. And we might paint it. Might. We'll see. See what time allows. I got to have this truck done before um, fall time, which... Some of you are probably like, well, why don't you have it done before fall time? Because I don't have a lot of time to work on stuff. This project over here is going to be on hold until this project's done. Because i got to get the stuff done that makes money first. After this truck's done, a combine's going to come in here. And we're going to work on a combine. Actually, this combine right outside. It'll be in here. Getting worked on. So, there'll be plenty of wrenching videos to come, and uh, there will be no lack of that. I got, I think, another part of this I can edit up. I want to try to alternate back and forth. I had three parts made up for this recorded, and I lost them. I think I have one part for this to make up yet, but we'll see. I just wanted to give you guys a, a view of what's going on here. What projects I'm into now. This one's going to be a major one. So, anyways, that's a little update, and we'll catch you on the next one.